Well, the student accused of threatening to shoot up Emory Riddle University is sitting in jail tonight without bond. John Haggins faced a judge just hours after Daytona Beach police released some new evidence in the case. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is in Volusia County tonight with the messages that led to Haggins' arrest. John Hagens will remain Hagen. locked up here at the Volusia County Jail at least until next week without bond. Tonight, for the first time, we are seeing the Snapchat messages that he allegedly sent a fellow student just hours before his arrest. Just one day after police say John Hagens was planning a, quote, Columbine-type shooting at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, the 19-year-old student was ushered into a courtroom in handcuffs. According to investigators, late Wednesday night, Hagen sent these newly released Snapchat images to a fellow student, showing off a rifle and ammunition he had just purchased hours earlier. The images were so troubling, the student reported it to campus security. As Hagen's left his apartment early yesterday morning, police confronted him. Contained inside the backpack, was a collapsible rifle. That's when investigators say they discovered the weapon, which Hagen's reportedly purchased using the proceeds from the sale of his truck. Authorities also recovered about 800 rounds of ammunition. According to investigators, Hagen's later confessed to telling his friend that he was going to, quote, shoot it up at Embry-Riddle yesterday, just as the campus was packed with students taking their final exams. He may want to claim that it was all a joke and he wasn't serious about it, but we don't find anything funny about discussing a mass shooting on a campus. They've been advised or requested not to make any statements at this time. Hagen's family was in court for today's hearing, but declined to speak with us as they left. Next week, the teen is expected to ask a judge to release him from custody on bond. Although classes are now over for the semester, Embry-Riddle is offering counseling for any students who may need it. Some young people who identify themselves as Embry-Riddle students turned up for this court hearing today, but did not share with us their reason for being here. Reporting in Daytona Beach, Mike DeForest, News 6.